Hello, Hello. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before and if you're new, welcome. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing, it really helps me out. Um, or as does liking or leaving comments uh, down below in the comment section. I will try and get back to you all. We are colouring in a Relax With Art Is You 96, this one started this a little while back and I've been ill so I haven't been filming so we'll go through all that so the other week Jennifer got home she had a cold mm -hmm. that be kids eh and of course she gives it to me and I get really really sick with it because I've got I suffer from chronic asthma so if she gets ill I pretty much get everything she gets I have been suffering badly all week with it um, my voice as you can tell is not back I've still got a really bad cough it's not COVID I did do a COVID test just to check <coughs> as you can tell I'm still coughing oh I I feel okay in myself just tired but I've got to I've got to walk down to get from school later because I've got no car because my car's having its uh, MOT done uh, which is something in the UK that we have done to make sure that a car is safest than every year. It's roadworthy. So I am currently carless, so I have to walk down and get her, which is going to be really hard for me because we live down a steep hill. And coming back up, it's going to really hurt the chest. I know it is. So I'm going to be taking my time and not rushing but I just feel so tired. When she get home, I'll see what she wants to do. If she wants to sit in colour, that's great. If she wants to watch TV, that's even better. Um, get her changed. She's a good girl though. And I get some videos up for you. Um, I don't know how long, it'll be about half an hour, I expect, and then I'll finish whatever's left. Off camera, uh, you might see it at the end of the month. Depends on how much is left, you might not, it might uh, not go up until, um, oh god I can't think of the time, uh, October, I'm hoping to get it done before the end of the month. Uh, but I've got, I've still got one of my Colouropoly prompts to do, I've done two, I've got one more to do and I've got a buddy colour with Chelsea to finish and I've been very slow at that. Again because I've been ill I haven't been feeling like doing a lot. So I haven't been colouring the way I normally do. I haven't read either. Like normally I finish two or three books a week. I, last week I didn't finish one. I've got two on the go. One's a Marilyn book and one's um, a book called Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie which obviously that's quite dense and, and deep and complicated. But I just can't focus for very long. So I am reading a little bit and then I'm just seeing what happens and I'll try and get the rest of it done soon. I'm just colouring random colours so I just don't feel well enough to care. I do care but um, yeah I just don't feel 100% and I've still got three um, first impressions videos to do. Um, it's just having the time on top of everything else. Do you know what I mean? Because it's so they can be so time consuming. I can't speak as you can tell. They are so time consuming doing the those and if I want to, to make it uh, any different, you know, in depth and stuff I've got to do it. So oh I don't I just don't know anymore. But it's okay. So we'll be having um, some building work being done soon. A new kitchen and bathroom. So I'll be able to just come around tomorrow. Hopefully he's going to be popping in for a bit to discuss the bathroom. And then we've got the lady from the kitchen company coming around to, to measure up. So um, see what we want and uh, get that done. Obviously I won't be able to, I probably won't be here. If I haven't got the car back I'll have to go and get Jen. So I will just say to Paul, you just need to remember that we want this and that's it. 
Um, and yeah, so there's going to be a lot of work going on in the next few weeks. Next door's not back home yet. They're due back in on the 17th of October after they had, of course, they had that fire last year, which was horrendous. So hopefully they'll be back in on the 17th and we'll be having ours done. Yeah, I did do that bit. I'm just checking some of it. I'm not really. So yeah, I'll be very excited to have a new kitchen and bathroom and obviously I'll show you on the weekly vlog. I do hope you can hear me because my voice is shot to hell. There we are. I quite like this book. I do like these books. These relax with art books are quite... They have some good pictures in. Some of them are a bit busy. But some of them are really nice. I'm just sniffling away. Um, I've been watching a new series of Doc Martin on TV because I like Doc Martin. A new series of Ghosts is on. We're on series four now. So I haven't watched that yet. I started watching it, but then Jennifer wanted to take over the TV. So let's go. And I watched a Marilyn film the other day. I've been watching the usual YouTube channels, nothing, I haven't discovered anything new yet, but obviously I, I'll let you know if I do. I've been going through some old favourites and watching a few record videos um, from record collectors, and all the colouring ones obviously. I like to see the hauls and the completed pages, they're my favourite, so uh, that's what I like to do. One here, that's one I'll do. <coughs> <coughs> I think if it doesn't clear up soon, I am going to have to go to the doctors to, um, oops, that doesn't really work very well, let's try the other end, um, just to see if it's on my chest and I need uh, antibiotics and steroids to shift it. But there's no point me ringing the doctor till I get my car back, because I can't get down to see him. Oh. Yeah, I was very annoyed last week because I had the entire week off. That's not working very well. I had the entire week off and I couldn't I couldn't do anything. I was ill. So I was just it's better. I spent most of the time sleeping in bed. I did read a little bit, I did some colouring. But you know, I can't even remember what I did last week now. That's how poorly I was. I mean, I had all these plans. I was going to go and get some Halloween decorations from the one of the shops that's local. I was going to go up a tip. No. All went out the bin. All because I've got another cold from Madam. Oops, there goes the pens. So, yeah, it's quite annoying when that happens. Not me dropping the pens. Getting sick. Booking a week off to have plenty of filming done and obviously we've been tidying up because of getting um, the builders in. Trying to get it sorted. Oh dear me. Oh. Yeah. There's that one. Let's get rid of that one in the bin. Dead. <laughs> he excuse me. I don't know why I've done it purple and blue. I I got no idea. Oh. Oh, I feel rough. Well, I hope you're all right. I mean, I know it'll pass. It is loosening. But I just don't feel... That's why I'm, I'm not really doing this as good as I'd like to. And part of it is because I just... 
I feel really unwell. I'm not, really, I'm not looking forward to getting Jennifer later because it is going to be hard work on my chest. Getting down there and getting back up the hill. I've got plenty of time before I have to go, so I'm not so worried. But you know what it's like. You just don't want to... I like that colour. Be really out of it, you know? And I do, I feel really rough. <laughs> I'm just going to colour the wheel in this dark blue. What is it? Denim. I don't think I've used this one much. So as you can hear, I am really struggling. Never mind, I just wanted to catch up with you all and see how you all were. Because, you know, it's been a while. And, um... Since I, you know, again, because... Oh, and I do, I do want to be making more. I want to be doing a colouring chat. Excuse me, twice a week. But at the moment I am suffering so badly from this cough. That I just I just can't. I'm hoping it'll go away and I'll be able to film another one like Friday or something like that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Thursday maybe, I don't know. Um. <coughs> oh dear me. Oh, I'm going to switch you off for a minute while I have a drink. It won't be a sec. Okay, I'm back. Going to try a bit more before I start coughing again. So I'm watching uh, this one YouTube channel and she does a lot of makeup and vintage makeup videos and I do enjoy her videos, she puts out some good ones but just lately some of the information she's putting out is rubbish it's nonsense, I was watching one of her Marilyn ones and I'm thinking that's not right and yet she considers herself an expert, god help us and what I watch is about Jean Harlow's hair dye being toxic, which it was, and you can find it if you put Jean Harlow hair toxic, uh, you'll find it. Saying that she was a mysterious death, yes, because she was 26 when she passed away, um, and for years rumours went round that it was a broken heart, a botched abortion, or could it have been her hair dye? Um, no. Jean Harlow died of kidney failure. Kidney failure was alleged to have been brought on by a bout of scarlet fever that she had back in the 19... well, oh, it would be the 1920s, I would say. 19... Oh, she was 14, I think. Uh, yeah, it'd be about 1925. Um, she was at a summer camp and... Um, oh, excuse me. She caught scarlet fever and this, although the scarlet fever passed, left her with a condition called scarletina, which causes the kidneys to fail. As a kidney can work at 10% of its function, it was not noticed until not long before her death, maybe about a year before her death, the um, symptoms and the... Uh, Stuff started showing up properly. Um, and by by the stuff, there is stuff. I mean, on her face, she would look very grey and puffy. And of course, the puffiness is the, the build-up of toxins um, in her her body. So, like, um, and that's more than likely what killed her. It was it was just it was probably the scarlet fever. That is what David Sten puts forward in his excellent Jean Harlow book, Bombshell, uh, and that she, uh, she died of that because 
there was no cure for kidney failure back in those days if you you know while your kidneys could function on 10% it's still not very good and um oh, I'm feeling rough now she um most likely you know it was exaggerated by her drinking she did drink she wasn't an alcoholic but she would drink her mother didn't like her drinking so she would go over to her friend's house and take out a bottle of graves gin uh, except she wouldn't say that because her mother would have been listening she would you know, she used code words like this is mrs graves calling and that would be his cue to go out and get a bottle of gin so of course because she couldn't process the toxins correctly through her bloodstream it would shop puffy gray um and if you, you know you can see it in her last film saratoga and the publicity is that she does look very puffy obviously the grayness is covered by her makeup and obviously her skin looks gray on screen anyway because it's black and white uh, but yeah it was toxic uremia she died of basically she could not expel her waste she could not get rid of the waste that was, her body was producing so if you can't ex ex excrete it in the normal way what your body does is it um, will excrete it through your skin so Clark Gable went to visit her in the hospital shortly before she died and said it was like he bent out to kiss her and he said the smell was horrible because it was like kissing a rotting person because of her excreting waste through her breath rather than in the normal channels now Back in the 1930s, we're talking 1937, there were no kidney transplant, there were no antibiotics and there were no dialysis at that point. So while today it seems like such a waste and it, it really was a waste because she was such a talented girl, there was nothing they could do and that is the sadness of the Jean Harlow story that it didn't matter what they tried, they would never be able to save that poor girl. You know, it's not like Marilyn who uh, took her, most likely took her own life and she had a lot of drugs in her system because she was addicted to sleeping pills. Jean Harlow didn't take any of those. Alcohol was her her drink, uh, her narcotic of choice if you want to say. And it is very, very sad that she passed when she did. There was nothing, nothing that anyone could have done for her. And that's, that's a tragedy. She was only 26 years old and she, if, if you want, go, go in and Google or you go to YouTube and, and type in Jean Harlow um, and have a look at, at some of the films she made. They're absolutely, she's so funny, she's witty, she's beautiful to look at. Not, you know, she has different standards than today. Um, she had a cleft chin, little, little dimple, it was endearing and, and it... But some people would say that ruins her looks. I think it makes her look gorgeous. I am a big Jean Harlow fan. I am looking forward to the new edition of Harlow in Hollywood, which is coming out soon. It's been put back now, sadly, to October, which is better for my bank balance, really. Um, but I can't wait till it comes. I will do an unboxing when I get it, because I think that would be fun. So we'll, we'll unbox it together and have a look through it. But I cannot wait. God, he's off again. Um, to get this book because if it's anything like the original, it's going to be brilliant. I have seen some of the new pictures. There are new pictures in there, and it's amazing. And there's an even a original colour photograph. So colour photography wasn't widespread um, back in the th early 30s and late 30s. Uh, obviously, we had. Um, Oh, Gone with the Wind and 39, it was all Technicolor by then. But earlier than that, they didn't use colour very much, it was hard work. There's this beautiful colour photograph of her in there, and I cannot wait to, to see, see it with my own eyes. It's going to be amazing. So, let me just get some different pens out. I want some different colours. I want to get my Uhu Who pastels out now. Oh, that noise, I've got a stinking head. 
So, I'm going to do the clouds for my Ooh Hoo pastels. And then we're just gonna, and these are brush tips, aren't they? Good, I like a good brush. <laughs> so, just do these. So that's my Jean Harlow rant. But yeah, she's been saying a lot of things that I'm like, no, that's not right. And my big thing is old Hollywood. Um, anything from the beginning of motion picture industry up until around, I'd say the mid 60s, although I do like obviously later films, but I guess my interest stops around the time Doris Day retired from making movies, I suppose. That would be the way of saying it, even though I do like other films that are later than that, so. But, yeah. I'm going to just say, I just want to see that. I can't wait to get that book. I'm glad it's not coming this month because I've got two pre-orders coming on, Friday, on Thursday and I'm nearly out of cash. And they are, um, let me see, what are they? Peter James's new Roy Grace book, and I can't remember what it's called, and the Rob Wilkins biography of Terry Pratchett. So originally Terry Pratchett was writing an autobiography, he didn't get to complete it, and Rob Wilkins took over writing it, so it's now by Rob Wilkins. And I'm really looking forward to that because I love Terry Pratchett, so that's going to be a good one. One of the saddest days, I think, when... So Terry Pratchett died. Currently doing a reread of the Discworld. I'm trying to do one a month and sometimes two. I read one this month. Weird Sisters is next. I love Weird Sisters. I've got a soft spot for Weird Sisters because I was in the play version of it as Nanny Og and I loved it. We had great fun. That shouldn't be in there. That's in the wrong one. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. So. I'll always be a big Terry Pratchett fan. It's that's never gonna change. So yeah, I just have to see what happens um, with some of these videos. I get very annoyed uh, when people spout stuff off, and they and I'm like, no, that's not right. It was this, or it's that. So I've, I've to be honest, I've stopped it at the point they're talking about what killed her. So she may go on to say she had kidney failure. I don't know. So I know that everybody's going to be going on at me about all oh, this new film, Blonde. I don't want to hear it, guys, because that book is based on a fictional book by Joyce Carol Oates. I've read the book. It's horrible. I saw the original miniseries because this is the second time they've made this. So they really don't need to do it again. Um, the first time was with an actress named Poppy Montgomery as Marilyn. She did a good enough job. It's the source material. There's a lot of stuff in this that is is flawed and is just literally fake. It's just not true. So while they are saying it is a fictional story, they've gone out of their way to recreate some of the photographs and scenes that Marilyn appeared in perfectly. So that's going to confuse people even more with the... Um, stuff like that and I don't think that's right it's not fair on Marilyn some of the things they're saying are really horrific that you know portrays her as a very weak woman who didn't have a say in her own life yet she did it doesn't bring up her, her triumphs it just um lingers on everything bad that happened and makes up even more bad stuff because what happened to her wasn't bad enough so stay away from it or if you insist on watching it just remember it is fiction. If you want to know the real Marilyn, go and read Michelle Morgan's biography or uh, Gary Vitico Rubles' biography. Donald Spoto is a good one. Just don't, don't read that one, please. It's, don't watch it, don't read it. Or if you do watch it, that's fine. But just remember, don't come on here saying, but this, they said this happened because I will, well, let me put it this way. I will not be very polite because I'll be like, yeah, they say it happened, but it's fiction. 
It's not true. It's like saying Batman's real. Yes, Marilyn was real. And that is why the Marilyn fans and the Marilyn community are not happy bunnies right now. The Marilyn community is up in arms about this silly film simply because they know what's going to happen. We've seen it before. People will start believing uh, what they're told. We see it every time a new documentary comes out. Oh, but I saw it on this. So it must be true. No, not necessarily. It could be wrong. Do you know what I mean? But they said that this happened. Right, but where's the evidence? And this is my problem. There's never any evidence. Never any evidence. Um, I know I'm ranting now. I have to make a proper video. I do put a lot of this Marilyn ranting stuff on my TikTok. If you want to to go over and, and uh, see what I post about on my Marilyn TikTok. It's literally just called Marilyn and Me. So pop that in and have a look. And if you want to see my other non-Marilyn TikToks. <coughs> it's Andrea Life 123 or just Andrea Life and you'll find it. Um, that TikTok is pretty much everything so it'll be mostly books but there's some sometimes I show some colouring pages um, Jennifer makes appearances every now and again there's all sorts of bits and pieces on my TikTok channel so if you if you are interested that is Andrea Life and if you're interested in the Marilyn stuff it's Marilyn and me I should probably post um, a load of photos, rare photos tonight. I, I, what I do is I collect rare photos when I see them posted on various uh, Facebook pages and then I will um, post them onto uh, TikTok in a template video. Uh, there's a couple I like particularly. Some of them I don't like, some of them I do. It's just a matter really of having a go and seeing what you fancy. But yeah, I'll put that one there actually. Oh, oh my head is absolutely killing me. Oh, I'm going to have a rest when Jen comes back. Um, we'll sit down on the sofa and she'll probably have something to eat. She has something to eat. And then she'll sit and watch something and I'll just read or I'll do some colouring or I'll just fall asleep. It really, really depends on how I'm feeling when I get back. I'm going to be absolutely knackered. The walk is going to kill me. Not literally, but figuratively. Um, Paul took her this morning because I thought, there's no way I can walk down there and be back in time to start my shift. Because they don't open the doors till 8 o'clock. Half the time they're a little bit late, which I don't have a problem with. Um, they're getting it ready to make it safe for the kids and I'm happy for them to be a bit late but when I got to start at half past eight and I'm not feeling very well and they don't come out till five past I can't walk that quickly it's only a 10 minute walk when you're feeling fine but I gotta get back I gotta get everything set up I gotta get logged on I gotta get drinks <sighs> excuse me oh I'm sorry about that I didn't mean to do that I just feel so Oh, my head is killing me. I will be taking some painkillers when I get back with Jen. So it took some not long back, so I've got to wait another hour or so. So I'll wait till I get back. As you can see, I am literally struggling. There we are. I am. So it's Halloween soon, so we'll be having all the Halloween pictures, won't we? I can't wait. I can't wait. I really can't. I love Halloween. I want to get some Halloween decorations as well, but um, we'll have to see. I'm doing all right. It's 20 past two, longer. Not too much though, because, you know, other things to do. People to see. Oops. Can't get that back in. Oh. Right, what was I looking for over here? yellow most of the yellows are out and they're in that downstairs but i have got a couple here so i'm just going to finish off these two bits and then these ones i'm going to do with glitter pens and i will do them off camera just so that i can crack on we're getting ready to get jennifer soon and i might start my 
uh, swatching video. And I, don't really, I used to make sure all the time that the pens were in the right sections in the Arteza case. Bother. Now they just go, oh hello, this one's got, got a top with top on. Came out without its top. Oh dear. So I have a very bright pink here. Delivery. I do think we were having something delivered today. I can't remember what Paul ordered something. So might be, yeah, it's, it's that delivery by the sound of it. I haven't got anything coming. I've been good. I have had a few books this month, but I am trying very much so to cut down and not get any more. There we go. I think I might film my... Um, What's it called? First impressions tomorrow. I think I've got enough to be going on with here. And I'm, I'm feeling very rough, so I'm, I'm just going to get ready to get Jen and go downstairs. It's awful, terrible. I do feel rough. I don't want to feel rough. I want to feel fine and happy. Oh, I like that colour. What colour is that? Grey is that. Yeah, that is a blush grey. I'm shaking as well. That's me being ill. I'm going to put that one back. And I just need another darker pink for the inside of the uh, thing. So if I go for that one, I think. Okay, so the next time you see this will be at the end of the month. When I do my wrap up, because I've only got the little bit at the bottom to do. So all that you are missing is this bit. I will finish this bit off um, over the next few days before the, I do my monthly wrap up, which will be uh, Saturday the 1st, probably. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick colour and chat. Um, if you have, give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye, everyone. Bye.